Welcome back. In this video, we will look at fillet, chamfer, and direct modeling using press pull. If I go to my modify dropdown, you will see press pull, fillet, and chamfer all at the top of my window. Let's look at chamfer first. You will see that chamfer is prompting me to select edges. I will select this edge in my spindle. And I can use this arrow to drag my chamfer and create my geometry. You will see that if I drag too far, I will receive an error. So be careful where you drag your chamfer. I currently have my chamfer set to an equal distance, but I could do two distances or a distance and an angle. I will keep it at equal distance and chamfer four millimeters and hit OK. Fillet works similar to chamfer, but creates a curved connection. I will go modify fillet, and I will select my inner edges here and here, and then these two edges. For this fillet, I will keep it as a constant radius, and I will do 0.5 millimeter, and hit OK. Fusion 360 allows for direct modeling using the press pull command. If I go to modify press pull, it will automatically guess if I am trying to create a fillet or if I'm trying to extrude my geometry. If I select this cylindrical face, it understands that I am trying to add an extrude feature. I will go negative one millimeter and hit enter. Or if I go press pull one more time and select this curved edge and this curved edge, I can drag in one millimeter and hit enter. Using a combination of chamfer, fillet, and direct modeling in press pull is an efficient way to edit your geometry in Fusion 360. I will see you in the next video.